Hi everyone, in this chapter I'm going to show you how you can install Postgres on Windows. So uh, this is going to be the final chapter for the SQL Essentials course and um, the first video I'm going to dedicate it to installation of Postgres because it is a little bit tricky and um, uh, again this installation is going to be only the guide is only going to be towards the Windows machine and uh, at this moment I cannot provide any installation guides for Mac and I'm sorry for that because I don't own it so I cannot like I'm sorry I'm, I am sure you can find installation gui guides for Mac OS online so first off go over to Postgres uh, ql.org slash download when you go there just click on the windows you're going to be redirected to this page from here just click on the download the installer you will be uh, redirected to this page where you're going to get postgres database download and then make sure you download the latest version uh, if you are on a linux and you think okay i do have like 10.16 then uh, I just have to give you an heads, a heads up because most of the code will not work for versions less than 12 because uh, there has been a lot of changes in how Postgres commands work. So if it is less than 13, I do not guarantee that those codes or those queries are going to work. So if you want them to work, you either have to be on Mac or Windows. No other platform. You can see that the uh, actual website does not support any Linux or any like Windows 32 bit just Mac OS uh, Mac OS and Windows OS you can install Mac and Windows just make sure you install the latest otherwise the code is not going to work so when you download it and when you launch it you're gonna see not this window this window it is a little bit um, the quality is a little bit bad uh, that's because the window was very small so when i took screenshots it was wasn't that good so uh, it says set up postgres just click on next you're going to come to this window you can change the installation directory but it's recommended to leave it as it is and then uh, just leave uh, all of these fours as selected just click next this is going to be directory in which this, to store your data just leave it as it is on this page, uh, same as with MySQL, you need to provide your password. So just provide a password and then click next password and then retype it. Click next. From there, this is going to be the port. Do not change it. This is the default. You can change it, but it's recommended to leave it as it is. Uh, leave this one as it is as well. Just click next. Next. Now it says it is going to install it right now. It is installing and when you come here just untick this launch stack builder at exist no and then finish it and then just go ahead and search uh, in your like windows just search for sql shell from there you're gonna be asked to enter a server and within the brackets you can see that it, it is going to give you the option so you're going to enter a local host then it is going to ask you to enter the database you're just going to enter postgres then the port number you can see it has given you the port number so just enter port number username which is in this case is going to be postgres just enter that then password for postgres and then write the password you're not going to see the password being actually written it's like the blank page is not going to change at all so don't worry your password is being written and when you hit enter you're going to see this window the warning and it says postgres the same way that we work with mysql that it said mysql this is going to say postgres and to just make sure uh okay so basically this is going to ensure for us that postgres 13.2 version has been installed and i think uh that is the last uh let me just take a look at here um this is 13 there is another one i'm not sure why isn't it oh i should zoom out come on buddy so let me just open up number 14 there we go so to just make sure that everything works correctly just say select version and just basically type this select version and this 
you're going to see Postgres this by all of that and now you know that Postgres has been installed successfully I will be giving you this uh, Postgres installation so I'm just going to copy that uh, it is for me it is on my desktop I'm just going to bring that here I've already copied the company sales data uh, CSV file as well so this is Postgres installation when you open it up everything is right here just for future references so with this our lecture comes to an end in the next lecture I'm going to show you how you can uh, create a Postgres database and I'm going to give you some overview of what Postgres is so see you in the next one